Hi guys, I welcome you to the most popular employability test in India, MCAT. Okay, so you might have come across this term MCAT. So what is MCAT? Okay, so in order to understand what is MCAT, first of all, we should be knowing about what is an employability test because MCAT is one of the biggest employability tests in India along with Erythmus and Cocubes. Okay, in fact, MCAT is the most searched employability test in India. Okay, so before we get forward, so let's get acquainted with what is MCAT and what is an employability test and how it works. Okay, so, so what happens is the companies are looking for the right candidate for themselves. Okay, in order to do that, they cannot conduct tests every now and then. So they tie up with such employability test conducting companies like MCAT and MCAT is the most reputed of them. Okay, so they want to find the right candidate. Okay, so MCAT conducts its exam for you. You give the exam and you try to score good sectional marks in all of the sections. Okay, so once you score good marks and once you get the scores, the companies are already looking for the perfect candidate. So the jobs are kept being, uh, so they keep on posting the jobs on MCAT portal itself. Okay, so once you get the result, you can just check out the portal and you can just log in through your login ID and password on MCAT and you can apply to a job of your liking. Okay. Now when you apply a job, the company would see that these many applicants have applied to the job. So they would see your sectional marks of MCAT. Okay. So based on those sectional marks, they would decide you are fit for which role or whether you are even fit for the role or not. So the better you score, the better are your chances of getting a good call from companies. So once you get a call, it means that you are getting a direct interview call. So that's a big thing, I think. Getting a direct interview call is a big thing. And that too from a reputed company. So having known how MCAT actually works, so let's get started with other things. So let's get started with other aspects of MCAT, like who can give MCAT? So, it is for the technical jobs, management jobs and other jobs. The technical jobs means that B.Tech or B.E. or any branch, final year or completed or who have completed the course may apply for the technical jobs. While for the management jobs, MBA or postgraduate diploma, final year or completed people may give MCAT. And while for other jobs, Minimum bachelor degree like BCOM, BCA is required for other jobs. So the jobs are categorized into three types, technical, managerial and other jobs on MCAT. So in our course, we would be focusing on the engineering jobs. Okay. So for that, the syllabus is as follows. The syllabus comprises of first section is English comprehension. There would be 18 questions in 18 minutes. And it is to inform you that all the questions in MCAT are objective types. These are MCQs. Okay. So the English comprehension section would comprise of 18 questions and the time period would be 18 minutes. So it is an online exam and, and the timer would keep on moving. It would keep on ticking. So that much time is there only for this section. Okay. You cannot adjust the time among the different sections. The time is fixed for each section. So you need to finish 18 questions in 18 minutes for English comprehension. While for quantitative ability, you have to attempt 16 questions in 25 minutes. While there are 12 questions in 20 minutes in the third section, which is logical ability. The fourth section is AMPI. AMPI is basically your personality test. Only 15 minutes are there for 72 questions, but not to worry. These are just personality type questions and you can uh, attempt them without much thinking. Then there are two optional modules. Okay about which I would be discussing in detail in the next video. Okay. So there is a sectional percentile for each of the section. The sectional cutoff varies from company to company. Like some company can have 80 percentile as the cutoff or some can have 90 percentile. The total duration of exam depends on optional modules. Okay. Because there are two optional modules to be attempted and they can vary. Their timing can vary. Their questions can vary. Okay. But it is around 2 hours. It is an online exam. So earlier the students used to go to the designated centers and uh, there they used to give this online exam. But now students can give this exam from home itself because of the pandemic. The exam is going from home itself. 
in online mode. The total marks and marks per section. What are the total marks and marks per section in MCAT? So the marks are distributed as per difficulty level of questions and they are not mentioned in the question paper. So nowhere so nowhere it is mentioned how many marks are for which question while you are attempting the paper because marks are distributed as per difficulty level. Also it is to mention that there is no negative marking in any section of MCAT. Okay. So what is the meaning of score in each section? So as per the MCAT's official website, MCAT is an intelligent adaptive test. Your MCAT score is not equal to the number of questions answered correctly. The score is calculated by an advanced statistical engine which takes into consideration questions, difficulty, discrimination, guess probability and several other factors. So basically each question is having different marks and they are not even mentioned in the paper. So try to solve as many questions as you can, especially the difficult ones. Okay. And we would be training you in that. Next comes, what does sectional score mean? Okay. So, your score is on a scale of 100 to 900 with 100 being the minimum and 900 maximum and this is for each section. Okay. So, the score would be given from 100 to 900 and please don't ask that uh, how the score is calculated because they don't give the information regarding that. They have their own, uh, I mean, different uh, marks for different questions. So, what should be the target score in your mind? The first and the foremost target should be to solve as many questions as you can. Obviously, that is obvious. And then any score above 50 in each section. Any score above 550 in each section. That should be your target. Okay. But obviously, you should try to solve as many questions as you can because anyways, you don't know how many marks are for which question. Okay. So still, if you get a score above 550 in each section, you are likely to get around 85 percentile. Okay, that is a respectable percentile and you might get a few calls for that. But in order to get good calls, you need to score 550 to 600 marks to get 85 to 95 percentile. To, give, to get great calls from very good companies, you need to get 600 to 700 marks to get 95 to 98 percentile. And in order to get the best calls on MCAT, you need to score above 700 and I hope we would help you in getting there. So these are all the indicative percentiles which you will be getting by scoring these many marks. So what is the validity of MCAT score you would be thinking? So it is one year from the date of your exam. Okay. So the validity is one year from the date of your exam. How to extend its validity? Suppose you have a job to be, uh, suppose you like a job which is posted on the MCAT portal and your score is about to expire. So you can extend its validity at completion of one year on chargeable basis. Okay. There is some charge for that and you can extend its validity on the MCAT portal itself. So what are the job profiles which are being offered on the MCAT portal? So these are the job profiles such as software development, content development, business consulting, HR, admin, ITES, BPO, marketing, engineering, sales and customer management, IT, hotel management, life sciences, etc. So these are all the jobs that are on offer from MCAT. So you might be wondering that uh, what is this, uh, these all kind of jobs are being offered but we are mainly focusing on the engineering jobs in our course. Okay. So what we are offering, we are offering MCAT video tutorials, practice exercises for you, mock MCAT papers for you, live doubt session classes and interview guidance. So basically it is from the concept to the commissioning thing. So basically it is a complete hand holding course we are providing. Okay. And since we are technologically adaptive. So the course would be designed, actually the course is being designed in such a manner that you would be able to access the course on computer as well as mobile. I mean on your laptop as well as mobile. Okay. Now you would be thinking, who am I to give you all this information and uh, to design such a course for MCAT and what is my MCAT percentile? Okay. So just to inform you, I'm just sharing my MCAT result with you just for your information. These are my sectional percentiles for the compulsory modules. This is for English comprehension, 99 percentile, quantitative ability advanced, 98 percentile, logical ability, 99 percentile, computer science, 99 percentile. So these are my scores in the MCAT exam. Okay. And this is the certificate which they provide 
so i have attempted the exam on 26 july to, uh, 2020 as you can see and this is the sort of employability report that they provide this is actually your report card okay so i hope you like the video i hope you are able to now grasp what is mcat so now i hope you are having a fair idea of what is mcat okay in case you want to learn more about mcat and in case you want to prepare for the mcat please do subscribe the channel and hit the like button on this video okay it would really motivate me to make a lot of videos for you okay so another question which you might be wondering that what are the optional modules because i have discussed about the compulsory modules but i had just mentioned you that there are two optional modules and i have not given their names because there are a lot of optional modules out of two out of which you have to select for the exam so that would be discussed in the very next video okay so do watch that video also in order to get an idea about the optional modules of mcat in order to get connected with us please do fill the google form link for which is given right there below okay and we will be sending you useful material and in order to get yourself updated please do join our telegram channel link for which is given right there below where we would be sharing you with the written material whatever we would be discussing in the video their pdf written material that we would be sharing for your ready revision okay so please do join the telegram channel and you will find it really useful and please do not forget to subscribe the channel and please do hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon in order to get all the updates from the channel and i hope you are having a good time so happy preparation